Excellent! Oh hey look, R9290Xs. Hey guys and welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today is a very special video because I've been working my tail off for the past few days benchmarking this video card right here. This is the AMD R9 290X. This is the Hawaii GPU based video card that was announced in Hawaii, coincidentally enough, uh, just about a month or two ago. And we've been waiting for it to come out. Brand new silicon from AMD. It's still based on the GCN architecture, the 28 nanometer architecture that the 7000 series was based on. But this one is all new. Uh, it's bigger, uh, 2,816 stream processors as opposed to 2,048 from the 7970. 1,000 megahertz GPU core clock, uh, memory runs at 1250, uh, 5.6 teraflops of compute performance, 4 gigs of 512-bit GDDR5 memory, uh, which is totally sweet. So this is designed for high-resolution gaming. They're specifically aiming it at uh, 1440, 1600, and 4K gaming. But one thing that you might mention, if you go over to Newegg and check out our benchmarks that we've run over there, there's some folks who maybe missed the invite to the party. And they are right back here. This is uh, NVIDIA's GTX 770. Yeah. This is NVIDIA's GTX 780. I don't have a 780 Ti at this point, unfortunately, but I've also got the GTX Titan. Now, if you look at our, in our Newegg benchmarks, we don't always include NVIDIA side benchmarks and the reasons are many, but let's just leave it at, we work for a company that works with both of those companies and there's just no way to make both sides happy. However, on my channel, I am more than happy to pit these against each other. So this video is gonna be some benchmarks of the R9 290X, brand new card, uh, using the 13.11 drivers. And I'm gonna throw in the Titan and the 780 and the 770, which is down in my lap, and we'll, we'll see who comes out on top. Let's see how the 290X stacks up. guys some benchmark comparisons and in closing let's see the 290x does a fantastic job uh, the 770 first off is priced at $400 at least as of the filming of this video the 290x priced at 550 so bear that in mind the 770 costs you a bit less money which is kind of nice 770 is kind of on the same level with the GTX 680 and I would say the 770 matches up a bit better with the 280x which is related to the 7970 if you're following all these letters and numbers, I'm quite impressed because I have a hard time keeping them down myself. The 780 right here is supposed to be a bit more of a direct competitor with the 290X. Now, bear in mind the 290X launch price, 550 The 780 currently selling for $650. So, given the fact that the 290X can actually beat the 780 in several benchmarks, uh, I would say the 780 maybe has a price drop coming. That's always a good thing when new graphics cards come out. However, the 780 Ti is poised on the horizon to hopefully jump in and take the 780's place as the almost best of the best card from NVIDIA. The Titan over here, still a very, very, very fantastic card and at $1,000, maybe not the best price performance that you might expect. The Titan, I feel, NVIDIA gears a bit more towards people who are doing GPU compute stuff. 
the amount of CUDA cores, the double floating point precision uh, functionality that's built into the Titan, a bit more geared towards that. So it's more of a bargain uh, uh, rendering workstation card than it is a super high-end graphics card. However, still not quite the best bang for your buck if you're specifically going just for gaming. And again, a 780 Ti, since it's clocked so high, even, it ha even though it has a few fewer CUDA cores than this one, 780 Ti is probably going to beat this when it comes to strict gaming performance. But there you have it, a quick roundup of all of my benchmarks that I currently have available to me, except maybe two-way crossfire configurations. We're going to have a video on Newegg for that too, so you can check that, those numbers out. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you want me to bring you comparison benchmark numbers when we do the, the, the benchmarking over at Newegg, I would be more than happy to. Please leave me a comment down in the comment section below to let me know if that's something that you would like to see. And until next time, hopefully we have some falling GPU prices, which is always a good thing for everybody. The 290X, fantastic, fantastic performer. One thing I did want to say, I've been benchmarking this for the past few days, and I've uh, had the privilege now of working with uh, several pre-release video cards. Super smooth uh, testing experience with this card. Uh, the drivers were pretty much functional right out, of the bat, out, right out of the box, or at least the download that AMD sent me. And apart from a, a GPU-Z glitch that they actually fixed the day before launch as well, or they sent out an update to it, everything was like totally rock solid. So I didn't even have any, the only thing, things I encountered was when I was overclocking and that's kind of goes without saying anyway. But that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and a like or a dislike down in the uh, feedback section below. We'll see you all in the next Paul's Hardware video.